what's what's going on? What what what, what day is it? What, what year is it? But it's 2021. What? Last thing I knew was 2019. I mean, what what even happened in 2020? What? Why has it been so long? What what even happened in 2028? I'm sure nothing drastic or really important happened in that entire year, and that's the reason why I disappeared for a while. But no, I mean, whatever happens, it looks like I'm back, baby. What is up, guys? I can't believe I'm finally back after so much time away. It was literally 2019 when I last actually uploaded to my channel. It's now 2021. Granted, it is only February, but still 2021. So so much stuff has happened to me in the last uh, year or so if you follow me on twitter you're probably up to date with what's going on in my life but if you're not you know it's it's a long story you know i, I don't want to get into it in the first episode what i really want to do in the first episode is just you know do a really general stalled feel have a nice laid back first join and and what what's dandel dwarf Who's Daniel Dwarf? He's, he's not playing on the server. I, I've met all the players on the server. What are you doing on my base? I, I, I've claimed this land as my own. What, who, what, who are you? Um, who are you and why are you here? Greetings, young traveller. I am Daniel. I came to this ravine looking to start a new dwarven village. But honestly, it's been pretty slow work. I was sent from my last village, which was struggling to survive, to find a new land, and start roots, and become new Dwarven Haven. Okay, wow, that was um, pretty intense. Um, I actually just moved to this place myself on the server. I haven't even like, started it no, properly yet. I haven't got a house yet or a base or anything. Um, okay, what if we helped each other out? You know... I I can build a village. I, no, I think I can do that. I guess, and you could bring the people, and the villagers who I could trade with and use them for their skills. You know that might be you know pretty good. Hmm. I suppose it could work. To be honest, I need to go back to my hometown soon. Anyway, they are struggling enough as it is. I am sure they need all the help they can get. If you can get this started, I can periodically come back and check and make sure the deal sweet or ill leave gifts and treasures when I see you making progress. Okay, well, that's actually, you know, pretty awesome. Um, I'll get started as soon as possible, but, I mean, I need to get some form, sort it out with some basic stuff, I need more materials, you know. This does sound like it really work for us, but, you know, what kind of time frame are we talking here? Like, how, you know... Urgent is this? I would say the situation is quite dire at best. I don't know how long our village can survive in its current state. When I came to this ravine, I wanted to transform it into a beautiful village, but I simply don't have the skills. But what I can do is mine. You do the building, and I'll give you the goodies to make it worth your while. All right, that's uh, okay. Awesome. Okay, I think this is actually really quite great. Um, so. For me to build this, obviously it's dwarven, do you have any sort of ideas or plans or anything I should know about when building this or, you know, how do you want this to look exactly? I shall leave the design entirely up to yourself. I'm giving a great amount of trust into you and I shall show you my gratitude by giving you some diamonds to get yourself some better tools. And there's more where that came from. I must be going now, but I will be back. Well, that was certainly a thing that just happened. Well. It looks like we've got a big project ahead of us. Alright, so that was a really strange encounter, but it did say he was, he was leaving me diamonds. Um, uh, oh, oh, okay. That's, um, that's actually a good idea because I didn't actually get that many diamonds when mining. Awesome, eight diamonds. Okay, that's going to be really useful. As you can see, I've already got a diamond pickaxe, um, which does not have very good chance to be honest. It's got unbreaking three and efficiency three. Not terrible, but you know, not really what I wanted. Um, not even my enchanting table, it's actually Echo's enchanting table that I've borrowed. Um, but yeah, he's, they've all made so much progress, those guys. And then there's me, but obviously, Daniel Dwarf, he's given me a bit of a mission here. Um, I mean, Daniel Dwarf, so let's just call him Danny, you know. I don't, I don't know whether you like that, but um, you know, he seems like a nice guy, you know, he's come all the way here. No, no, obviously, he needs our help. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really thinking we can make this work. I mean, 
I would say this would be about floor level, the top floor. Then I'm thinking maybe on that level, up another floor. You know, some bridges going across, some rooms. Um, but I think the very, very, very first thing we do is establish some forms to get some like some things growing, get some things moving. Chickens are great, but I want like carrots and wheat and cows and sheep and all that goodness. I want it all here, ready for to go down in the the village. Essentially, is what I'm thinking. So why don't we start with a wheat farm? I'm thinking I leave the chickens here for now. After wheat farm here, then I'm thinking carrots because I like carrots. That's usually my my main main food source. Then I'm thinking the animals can go over here. I'll leave the chickens there for now just because they're already there. But I can easily move them later. But um, I, you know, I, I'll just cull them off and use eggs to get new ones. Um, I mean, how many eggs have I got here now? Ooh, that should be more than enough eggs when I think about it to um, get at least one new chicken. Right. I'm sorry, guys, but um, you know, it's been real. But uh, you know, all good things must come to an end. Right. Let's just. I, I love how. In the new Minecraft, there's like hit one mob, and all the mobs in the area get hit. I think it's called like sweeping edge when there's like an enchantment now for that. I love it. I mean, apparently there's, there's bees now. There's you know apparently there's been a huge Nether update, but I haven't played since I would say late De December properly. So yeah, it's 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 all weird. Um, oh jeez, I've moved house twice since I um, last recorded. Uh, so, sorry baby chickens. Oh, go away, go on, stop it, stop it, stop it. Great. Right, you know what, I'm gonna let those baby chickens live. Just cause I don't really want to kill them and you know, some some, some free range chickens won't be all bad, you know. We can, you know, have a natural life. Oh, oh, oh that, 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 I was just about to say, I think I actually killed them, never mind. Forget, forget what I was saying, but there actually is a, a chicken still alive there. Which is perfect. Right. So we'll get rid of this bad boy. So what I'm thinking is, well actually, you know what, it's night time, let's just hop into belly deuce. Oh, you can see me, me, me fried chicken, I think that's, uh, I'm not sure, I, I'm, am I allowed to say KFC or copyright? Yeah, yeah it's, um, it's not, it's, it's SFC, it's Southern Fried Chicken. Yeah, that, 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 yeah, that, that's it, yeah, yeah. And um, let's just throw you in there, there's not enough coal. Maybe 16, I, I won't do it all, but it's close enough, right. Let's put feathers in here, I guess that's kind of for me. And have that there and there. Right. So the first thing we can do is make a hoe. Ho ho ho. Um okay, so I need wood. And I'll make an iron hoe. There we go. Um crafting table. Now can I just be lazy and do it this way? And boom, perfect. Right. We need a bucket of water, that should be nice and easy because there's water over here. Perfect. Uh, da -da, boom! Perfect. Right. I would say the corner of it should be about there. So one, two, three, four. Dig a hole. One, two, three, four. That's a little bit big. Is that going to be too far over this way? Mm. No, it should be fine. Um, so now I'm just going to follow these lines around to make a perimeter. Um, oop, like that. So I'm thinking what I want to go here actually is just to wait for now. I don't think I'll do carrots straight away just because I've got so much chicken and so much meat. I don't actually, I'm actually desperate for carrots as my main food source anymore. Um, it's great that's all getting nice and you know. Wet, I guess. Um, see, it's only 16, but that's fine. As you can see, I have loads of wheat because I did harvest a massive amount of wheat from Echo's farm, and then I used all the seeds to breed the chickens. Um, so I let those. Actually, I might have some bone meal, you know. 44 bones, perfect. Right. Let's just bone meal these bad boys. <laughs> Go, that's better. So now we're all wheated up. Uh, maybe we'll make some wheatos. 
<laughs> right, let's just put all this stuff away. Right, good start. Put the wheat. Now I'm thinking we want some other animals. So why don't we go and grab some wheat and see if we can find some animals, shall we? And while I'm walking here, I just want to talk about what my plans are for the server. So, oop, we have chickens. They probably just escaped from my farm. Um, so I guess the main focus I want this to be is on the ravine and on making, you know, the village that, that you know, Mr. Danny has asked upon us. So this is Echo's place. This is like a community nether hub. I have actually been in the nether. Oh, there's a villager up there as well, apparently. It's weird. Is he on top of the portal? What are you doing up there? That's that's so dangerous. What? Don't don't jump. You you've got so much to live for. Don't you don't you nod your head at me? Oh, fine. Screw you then. You know, jeez. Now he did have some cows around here. I'm sure, but he also has some sheep as well. So, oh, he's got doggies. Hello. I'm gonna call you Toby, and I'm gonna call you Maguire. I'm not gonna be Rufus. Alright, the cows were somewhere around here. Oh, okay, they put. The cows shall have their revenge. Okay, so it looks like there's not cows around here anymore. Where will his cows go? That's strange. So while I'm here, that is Kana Crew's base. This is Echo's place. Echo has done an amazing job with this place. Look how cool this is. The, the textures of the roof and the big tree in the middle. It's, it's just he's done a spot on job here. Uh, it looks like this is our a blacksmith, a toolsmith rather. This is also different. Like this was not here last time I played. So a bell, whatever that is. A diamond, that's a pretty expensive, let's see, a fortune one pickaxe, that could be handy, you know, if we need fortune, I mean, it's, it's 32 emeralds, but efficiency 3, efficiency 3, not like the best trades in the world, but also not the worst ones, fair enough. Um, yeah, okay, it looks like we don't get animals then here, uh, that's really strange, why don't we just go back to the base and uh, we'll do something else instead. Okay, so we're back at the base, and what I'm thinking is that even if we don't have the animals yet, we can make the pens ready for them. So I've decided I'm not doing carrots. Normally, carrots would be my, my main food of choice for Minecraft, or at least they used to be back when I, you know, over a year ago when, when I played this. So, but now I'm thinking meat instead, just because you kind of get used to getting so many hunger balls from food and carrots, and you do one and a half, and it's just kind of slow now. So yeah. I'm not going to the carrots, I'm not going to potatoes, I'm sticking with meat. So to do that, I'm thinking chickens, cows, sheep. I'm not going to do pigs yet, purely because cows, you get leather and meat obviously, sheep, you get wool and meat, chickens, obviously you get feathers and meat, so worse with pigs, you get just meat, you know, so why bother with them at the minute? So let's just build the pen. So we're going to need some fencing. We're going to need probably some more fencing to be fair. So if we just make boom, a whole bunch of you and mix you guys together and then and let's see, where am I? But let's maybe make that many fences. And we're going to need some fence gates, aren't we? Probably. Let's just make a few of those. Oh, it's been that long since I've played up. I'm even forgetting the recipes now. It's amazing. Like once you learn the Minecraft recipes, you never forget them. It, it, no one knows why either. So we'll leave a two block gap. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll do we'll do nine by nine squares, I think. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll bring this around here. Two, three, four. Leave the gap. One, two, three, four. And then, boom, that's one pen done. And then I'm thinking, can we fit another pen here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Of course we can. What I'm going to do, I'm going to share this side of the fence to save blocks. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Move it all, all the way downtown. Uh, put it on top of there, I guess. Uh, one, two, three, four, leave the gap, one, two, three, four, perfect, okay, 
So I'm thinking chickens here, cows here for now, and then I might do a little bit of terraforming with a bit of land, and then we can get some sheep here. And um, yeah, let's try and build those eggs, get some chickens, and then what we call about. I wanted to have a really simple, you no, know, basic, e nice, easy going first episode. I didn't want to be like sort of building things, get really intense. I just thought, you know what? I'll, I'll do the intro. We'll do. We'll get a bit of log going. You know, D Danny's here. He's he's given us quite the big task. I you know. I'll get a farm going. We'll get some pens going. Obviously, we've got chickens here. That's great. We we'll get cows here. You know, just a nice, gentle start. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. I really cannot wait to be uploading videos so often on the server. We're doing definitely doing some collaborations with the guys. And um, it's a shame they weren't online when I recorded this. But you know what? It's fine. We're going to see lots of them. And it's gonna be great. I even love where we picked our land. We're nice and close to the guys, but we're far away enough that you know we have our, our, we have our own little bit of area here. You know it'll be good. You know it's gonna be interesting what we do with this guy for definite. So big thanks to Echo. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, what's that? Oh, I think a squid just died. That's strange. Yes, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see some more. Uh, this is Zoo Crafted. Over and out.